Hi guys, it's Denma here, and today I'm going to do a little mini unboxing. Um, I got a few things from Wet n Wild. They released a unicorn collection, and it came in a big box set for $29.99, I believe it was, for everything. And that sold out, but you can still buy each of the items individually. And I only wanted the two lip colors and the pigments, so I got that. I already have the rainbow highlighter, so I didn't need that. Um, I didn't need the brush, so I just got what I needed. And I might have gotten a couple of other things. I can't really remember, but I'm going to open this and swatches and all that good junk. Um, I try not to get a whole lot of makeup now unless it's just like new colors that I don't have or shades or like holographic stuff because I am a holosexual. I am a sucker for that and a lot of this stuff in the unicorn set is like holographic iridescent-ish type stuff so also the kittens they are eight weeks now and they're going to the litter box very very well and it's so funny because when um they go and do number two it's I know it's just TMI but they sit there and meow because they, it's like they don't know what's happening it's like what's coming out of my rear and then they're just sitting there looking at it kind of like the whole um video where the dog farts and scares himself so Gatsby which is my big dog over there has done that he's um actually farted so loud, it woke him up, he woofed, and then ran. Hey Greedy, you wanna be on YouTube? You gonna be my co-host? My cat host? <laughs> I'm scratching her right above her tail. But um, Gatsby did this one time, he farted again. And it was so loud, it woke him up, and he ran through the bathroom, and he peed the whole way. It was just so funny. We couldn't be mad at him, because he doesn't like storms, so. But since then, we've changed his dog food, so he's on a better quality dog food that doesn't give him as much gas. So, on to the unboxing and stopping with the TMI of the doggy farting. Where did my keys go? I put them in my lap. I have lost my scissors. The cats knocked them off into the nether and I have no idea where they might be. So I'm going to open my boxes with my P.O. Box key. I'm trying to find Quinn. She's sitting here rubbing and rolling on my computer and I don't want her not to knock you guys over. <sighs> Greedy's such a good girl sometimes. Yeah, you are. You're such a good girl sometimes. Industry, California. So, this actually didn't take but like three days to get here. It was really quick. So, let me just hope that they put all my stuff in here because my first order I did a few months back, I ordered a bunch of stuff like 25 things um, for me and my mom, and four or five of them were missing. I'm in on their invoice, it actually had green markers circling each one that was missing like somebody needed to add those to the order but they didn't so I'm like really so. it's got like never seen a box like this there's no tape it's just sealed with the address label so just cut through that 
One good thing about having the P.O. box is that they fill it up with the flyers for the grocery stores that, because we don't have one here, that are like within 30 to 40 minutes. And we get all like the fast food coupons, which are coming handy when we go traveling, so. This is not going to be a box that I can, well, I can kind of put it back together. There's that. It's very well packaged. Nice and secure, but the box is like falling. It's kind of like a Chinese takeout box. You just unfold it. And the unicorn stuff is limited edition. So if you want it, you need to get it. Wet and Wild Beauty. Dot com, I think it is. Um, cause I don't think it's gonna be in stores. Here's my invoice. Boom. As you can see, there's two things that aren't highlighted. I oh, know they are. They're just really light. So, oh, I see. Their highlighter probably died because then the ones right after are a different color yellow. So, um, let's see. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine things. That's not too bad. Also random but a couple nights ago I decided I wanted to get the same color nail polish that Hannah Baker wore in 13 Reasons Why. I have one that's from that brand and similar but her color was a flat matte color so I got the same exact one they used and I got three others. One of them they put two in my cart and I only clicked it once but I'm gonna give that one to my mom because she likes that color. It's, called, it's Supernova. It's like a gold color or a bronzy gold. Um, the other one is Cinderella, which is like a baby blue with glitter in it, like Cinderella's dress. And the other one is a hunter green metallic, which I usually wear that with gold to show my support for Loki from the Marvel Universe. That little air pocket thing. I put it right here, but the kitten, the white one, Quicksilver has taken it hostage, so if you hear some rustling, he's down there playing with it. So, anyway. And, let's see. Each... Okay, I got two nail colors from my mom, I remember now. She doesn't really paint her nails that often, because she says her nails aren't long enough, but I cut mine down as short as I can, and I still paint them and they're not like even or anything. This is actually three different polishes. It's a iridescent pearl polish, then it's a pink glitter shimmer polish, then it's got a red, it's red and pink glitter with hearts in it. And I was only able to get two hearts out and I put them on my thumb. That one's halfway cut off because my thumbnail grown since I put it on. And it's got like a pinkish tint to it. That looks okay, but um, she was looking for a mauve color, and this I got her two different ones. One's more cool toned, and one's more warm toned. So and then I think everything. Oh, and I got the highlighter, but everything else is the unicorn collection. So oh, and I actually got a, a blush because when I do my makeup. I just I just don't put any blush or bronzer on because I don't know how but I mean blush is pretty easy to use you right there plus I want to keep away the redness but I figured my face has no dimension if I don't do contouring or at least put blush on so I finally cracked it down and ordered a blush but anyway the two nail polishes are right here Um, don't let the color fool you. This is a mauve, and it's more brown than when it, the swatch on the um, website showed. It's called Undercover 206C. This was on clearance for 249 and this one was as well. This is the more purple-toned mauve, and this is 207B Bite Bullet. So... And they are wet and wild mega last. I think they're the ones that take like a week to chip off. But figure, hey, why not? 
because I was trying to get free shipping. Oh, that's where I was going with the nail polish from Walmart. So the four nail polishes I got, um, and it says you order this much more, you get free shipping. And I didn't want to justify paying six dollars for shipping for four nail polishes that are like two dollars that are like two bucks a piece. So I bought three twenty six point three pound things of ar armor, um, arm and hammer. Um, cat litter <laughs> which is fine because you can never have too much cat litter and I like to stock up that way if something happens we have it we don't have to rush out and grab some so I already had cat food I have extra bag out on my porch and now I have the litter coming in in a couple of days so yeah, that was funny it's like you get you shop and it's like that meme that has a picture of uh, buy $200 worth of cosmetics or shopping online you buy $200 worth of merchandise you gotta still pay $5.99 shipping and it's got that guy looking like all strange like that's totally me but um it's $35 or more I believe it is at Wet n Wild and you get free shipping so and this was like $35.27 so that worked out just fine. So here are the unicorn products or the unicorn line products. Now I saw Jeffree Star unbox, do the whole box kind of the collection swatches and he really wasn't too thrilled up with this uh, color is it something flitter Pegasus flitter it's like a light pink pigment which you can put it as a highlighter you can use it on your eye eyes for eyeshadow I mean you can, you, it's loose pigment you can put it pretty much anywhere um, but he said it was really light and iridescent which I figured that would be a nice highlighter so I really liked it he didn't because he wants it to be like bold these two are very bold this one is Unicorn Wishes, and it's blue, and it has little flecks of gold in there as well, and then Mythical Dreams is the purple one, and it has a little bit of gold shimmer to it. So I will swatch those in just a second. And then the two lipsticks, the blue one is Unicorn Soul tell it's the blue one because it's got the blue ring around it and then the white one the white thing on it is Immortal Tears both of these can be a lip topper or you can just wear them like a gloss by themselves this one feels really loose inside of its thing I don't know if that's good or bad and then I got Lots of bubble wrap. The Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Lilac to Reality. I've seen a lot of people swatch this and it's really, really pretty. This actually looks more pigmented when you swatch it than the Kat Von D Alchemist palette. And this is a hell of a lot cheaper. There is a pink one, I think, to go with it but I didn't get that one. And then I got the blush, which is the color icon, the Princess Daiquiri's Ombre Blush. So it's dark and then goes lighter. And I did watch a girl swatch all three colors. There's three different shades. And this one best matched my skin tone. The other two were just um, really, one was darker and one was just really off with my skin tone, so I think this one will work best. So, because it really does match pretty well with my skin tone. Let's do the lip things first. Okay, so I got these babies unwrapped. So, let's see. Gentle with 
this one. So it feels really loose in this thing. Now Jeffree Star did it. Well, they are there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But if you look close enough, there is a unicorn in the lipstick itself. That's pretty cool. The attention to detail is really amazing. So, so far, so good. So we'll swatch this one first. See a little bit of a blue tint to my hand. It almost has like a duochrome look because it has like a blue and pink. It's like it almost turns pink with like the blue shimmer in it. So let's see what it looks like on on the lips. And forgive me, I still have my jacked up mirror. There's no um, scent to it. It's just like a waxy scent and no taste. It's very creamy. It almost feels like a MAC, to be honest with you. So, see how it has like a, not just the pink of my lips, but it has the pink with the blue shimmer. Do you have more lip? So it's just nice if you want to be a little bit different without like sticking out. Like if you don't want to stick out like me and wear the Lime Crime Diamond Crushers that are really, really pigmented and holographic. Um, so this is nice. And these are $3.99 a piece. So, and the pigments are $4.99 a piece. No, I lied. The pigments are $2.99. The lipstick, not the lipstick, but the blush is $4.99. The highlighter is $4.99. And both the nail polishes are $2.49. So, I like it. And like I said, it'll be good over something or by itself. Wipe it off. See, it comes out pink on the here we go. And yes, I have frozen napkins. You can get these. I think food. I don't know if you guys where you're from, but these are at Food Lion. That's the only place I've been able to find them. I can find the frozen paper towels at Walmart and Food Lion. So if you're obsessed with frozen like me, we have them. I'm just keeping them wiping until nothing else comes off. Okay. So that's as normal as it's going to be. That one was really pretty. It's like when you, it warms up, it starts getting darker. Because now you can really see it. Let's see. There you go. That's better. That's. And then there's. A, I really like that. That's really pretty. And for a four night or. What did I say it was? $3.99. I might get another one just to have as a backup. Anyway. Here's the white one. And let's see the little unicorn pop up. Let's see. I'm trying to get in the best light, but you can see the indention, the horn, the main, the main's kind of blowing. And just the head. So that's pretty cool. It's a nice touch. This is white and I can already see blue, purple, and pink glitter in it, so very iridescent. Yeah, this one's actually gonna be the color I thought that one would actually be. This one's more blue. 
when you prepare it a more silver iridescent. They're both gorgeous. I might have to get another one of both of them. Yeah, this makes my lips look a little bit lighter. Put that bad boy up. I'm gonna get another one of both of those. They're really nice. But yeah, let's see. Put the swatch right there. So it does lighten your lips a little bit, but not like extremely bad. has a little like even though this one's this one came out darker this one I feel has more pigment to it I really like it really really like it now I don't have to sit there and like because usually I'll get the Katie cat which um, is the Katie cat or Katie Perry lipstick um, I'll get it in pink paws and then I'll put the Glam crime diamond crusher on top of that and it gives it the same effect so now I'm going to have to use one thing. Very happy with these. I'm going to leave this on the rest of the video because it doesn't affect anything else. So I'm going to swatch, do a finger swatch with the highlighter next. Okay, so this highlighting powder, Mega Glow Highlighting Powder, it is cruelty free. I think all of their products are cruelty free actually. Yeah. So that the plastic I took off of the lipstick. Um, the lipstick does not say it does not because all their cruelty free items had this little cute little bunny. It says cruelty free. The pigments do. But I can't, I don't see the bunny on the lipstick, so if you are cautious about that type of thing, double check on the website if you're going to order it to make sure it's cruelty free. Ah, it's sticking to me. Ah. Let me check the nail polishes. The nail polishes don't say, well they say peel here, I don't know if there's anything say that they're cruelty free either so just people I know are like very picky when it comes to stuff like that so just be aware to check for cruelty free if that's what your thing um but anyway it shines really pretty I just like looking at it it's just I'm easily amused by shiny things so um you get 0.19 ounces or 5.4 grams Opens up. Hello. You can tell I took out my trauma doll because I'm acting stupid. So I. That is so pretty. I like it when a company puts like effort into their makeup to make it look gorgeous. They don't just put it in a pan and say, "Here you go." They thought about it and put a little heart in there. And so I'm going to run my finger across like diagonally so I can get some from the, the purple around it and the center, which is like a silver iridescent color. Oh, it, it was so blinding with the light, it disappeared. So where'd it go? So anyway, there we go, let me see. So, whoops. I took the plastic off the bottom, but I didn't take it off the top, but here we go. Clean finger. Or so you thought. No, I'm joking. I'm not pressing down too terribly hard. You can see where it's smudged it a little bit. And I'm going to close that. Put that down. There's what it looks like with a uh, gentle pressing. I know some people when they're doing swatches, they press down really hard so they can get a lot of pigment. I didn't. And it's very creamy, 
so I'm gonna swatch it next to the um, lipsticks to see. Ooh, that's smooth. There it is, right there. So it's got a sil. It's not really purple. It looks very similar to this lipstick. It's a silver iridescent. It's very nice. And it's like it feels it has a very good texture like it would be very good um, to build on so if you want like a more subdued look one layer would be good for you but if you want blinding like Jeffree Star says his he wants to glow to the gods I think you can do you can, can accomplish this if I can get my words out if you build it up but yeah very pretty I'll probably be using this one more than the Kat Von D one. So, I might go and get the pink one if they run like a sale or something. So that way I have both of them. And this I believe you can find in stores. I've not seen it in stores myself, but the Walmart that we have is the small little baby Walmart. Not the Walmart Express, but like the next size. It's not a super center. So, and they close at midnight. So that tells you something. So, anyway. Um, I guess I can do swatches of the nail polish on a piece of paper. That way you can see. Let's see. I'll use the bottom of this ColourPop box because it's nice and sturdy. So, the first one I'm going to do is the more warm toned one. Which should be more of a. When I saw this one, it looked like more of a sandy color, but I don't know. It looks really pink in the bottle. Like I said, this one is undercover, which makes me think of like a trench coat, like the khaki trench coats. So, I'm gonna put that one first. It's very pink. Unless it drives a different color, it's like pink. It's like a mauve, but it's very, very warm toned. I felt like I was false advertised with. I did three swipes. Three good swipes. This one I think is more on well, the my mom wants. This one's the bite the bullet one. Ooh, that is fragrant and with wet and wild. I don't use base coats, but I would highly recommend you use them because I got a neon green one from there with, it was like a flower name of some sort and it stained my nails. They were yellow and I, so if you do get something like bright or neon colored, just be careful, it might stain your nails. Okay, so the first one that I swatched was this one which is the undercover. It's definitely more opaque. I did three coats of each, or three like streaks of each. And then the second one, Bite the Bullet, it's a little streaky after three swipes. Let's see if you can see that. But, not compare that to that. I almost think they pictured the wrong one because this was supposed to be almost like a sand color. But as you can see, it is not. It is like coral, mauve goodness. It's still pretty. She'll still wear it because she likes these type of colors, but not what I was expecting. So I need to put these back in the bag for her. I don't like these colors. I like them on my lips, but don't like them on my nails. Anyway, these things like look like things that I would sit there and just sit and watch them shine the light. So I'm gonna put these on this hand. I'm gonna try to, cause this one's kind of taken up. Just a quick pro tip: with these, you have to take the whole label off in order to open it, and it leaves a sticky residue. You could probably see it. Um, all you have to do to get that stickiness off is get some alcohol and put it on a paper towel or get an alcohol swab or alcohol wipes. I keep alcohol prep pads on me because I have to keep this sterile. So 
so if I have to change it out, I have to wipe it off with alcohol, all that good stuff. So I always keep these on me. <laughs> or hand sanitizer, because it has alcohol in it. So just want to let you guys know that because it's kind of a pain to get off. And like I said, leave sticky residue. And if you don't want like cat hair or dog hair sticking to it or who knows what, just wipe it down. Anyway, see, you gotta take that off. Obviously, I'm not gonna do the whole cleaning thing, but it's sticky. So, some people are like OCD about stuff like that. So, I just wanted to give you a little tip. All right, so we have Pegasus Flutter. Here comes the bad weather. We're supposed to have some really bad weather tonight, so if you hear like tapping, it's just rain. Mythical dreams and unicorn wishes. So, oh wow. It's not like I was trying to film a YouTube video. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it because I have my air conditioner on and usually you can't really even hear that. Especially when I put like the little background music in, you can't hear it. So. But you might hear the rain. And Quinn has gone into hiding. She does not like storms. And Jelly Bean is investigating. You okay, Jelly? Say hi. I'm Claudine. Don't you love how our face is split in half? I just think cats with those type of markings are so cool. So I'm going to do the lightest one first, which is Pegasus Flutter. And these are, I think he said they were kind of like salt and pepper shakers. It's actually got a, um, a little flip top cap underneath. Let's see if I can get my nail under here. There we go. That wasn't that bad. So. Um, yeah, I've got a few scratches, you know, I have cats and they play rough with me, so please ignore those. And I have a, well, if you can see it, there's actually a cat scratch right there, it looks like a cut line. When I went to work the next day, my manager thought I tried to kill myself, like slip my wrist because it's the right way and everything. Like, no, my cat just freaked out and he raked me, and that just happened to be where it was, so. All right, so I'm gonna do it um, right around here. Ooh, it's like baby powder. Okay, I don't know how much to do. Okay, so that's about three or four taps. So that's what it looks like on the skin so far. Let me just rub it in. Ooh. I might not need to go get that pink highlighter. Let's see if it'll show up. It's right there. There we go. It's very, very, very light pink. So the pink one that goes with this, you can just get this pigment and use it as a highlighter, which is what I got it for in the first place. So, and it is um, buildable. So, and now I'm gonna go with Mythical Dreams next. Mm, like the beauty girl. How would they do this? They do what like that. But I don't have a camera that focuses. I'm just using my telephone camera. So take the lid off. You can just pop this up with your thumb. It's not that hard at all. And I'm gonna go right next to it or try to. Ooh. It almost looks like cinnamon. This one's harder to come out. Okay, there we go. This one feels like more th a thicker consistency. Like it was hard to, to shake out. But there you go. Whoops, sorry. There you go. Like I said, it's, a, it's a very cinnamony. You can see the light pink, and then this one has like a purple tint to it. It's not like overdone purple, it's very, very pretty. You 
You can barely see the pink. I'm not gonna touch it with this finger, but let's see where it is watching with this one. There's the pink and there's the purple. And then the last one is the blue unicorn wishes. Once again, these were $2.99 a piece. And I bet if you water put water on your brush and use these that way, I bet they would look really good. This one almost reminds me of that Stila um, liquid eye cream or eyeshadow, whatever you want to call it. It's that color. It's got those pigments in it. I'm going to put it right next to the purple. Well, I was. What's up with you, man? That just came out a little ball. Ooh, I can see the gold flex in it. That's not enough though. Okay. Wow. Oh. Okay. This one's even it like even chalkier or thicker. I don't know, know the correct term, but let's see. You can already see the gold reflecting a little bit. So let me rub that in. Ooh, that gold, just, the camera's not doing it justice. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. That would make a really pretty eyeshadow. I wouldn't use that as a highlighter. The other two I can use as a highlighter, but not this one. But there you go. You got the pink, you got the purple, and then you got the blue. It's gold and like clear glitter, which makes it. Oh. So, going on Wonder Woman here are the two lipsticks. And there is the highlighter, Red, um, Return to Lilac, Lilac to Reality. My, sorry, my bad. And then the three pigments, which, like I said, you can't really see the, the pink one at all because I'm very pale and it's very pale. But you got the purple one and the blue one, which has gold and clear glitter in it and man I, I just can't I can't with that blue color that if, if you have to get just one get that blue one that is just gorgeous so, anyway final look sees Okay guys, I forgot to swatch the blush. It was hiding underneath of Greedy. So I did the ColourPop unboxing and then I found it. So some of my lips are coming up like a greenish blue color. It's because the last color I tried on was a lipstick, a matte lipstick that was a green. So yeah. But anyway, I wanted to swatch this for you really quick and just add it in. Um, it's 0.3 ounces or nine grams. Once again, it is the Princess Daiquiri's Ombre Blush. And you can see it's dark to light, obviously. I don't have a brush in here with me at the moment, so I'm just going to do it with my finger. It's very, very pretty. I figured that was the one that matched my face the best. See which finger because I swatched a lot of dark shadows with these, so they're kind of like you can see they're kind of stained a little bit. So I'm gonna swatch with one of these fingers. I'm, just, I'm gonna go straight down. So you can't really see it that well, my finger. Then I'm just gonna put it out there. So um, let me try it again. Maybe it's one of those buildable ones. Got a little bit of a sheen to it. It's right in the center of my hand. It's right there. You can kind of see it. It's very, very light, which is what I wanted. I didn't want one that was too dark because I'm already trying to get the redness away, but I wanted to give some kind of a color to my face because when I put my foundation and my setting powder and everything on it, I'm very pale afterwards, which is good. Don't mind being pale, but 
at least it gives my face some dimension. So it's, it's like I said, a little bit of shimmer. You can barely see the shimmer, but it's very light and it's very, um, like a rosy color, like a very light, light rose color. So this, I think this is a good match. I did a good job. Go me. Very happy with this little haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if there's any other products you want me to try makeup wise that are reasonably affordable, like don't be giving me like the $100 um, primer with gold in it or something like that. I'm not going to do that. That's just a waste of money to me. So, like Wet n Wild, drugstore. I love doing drugstore stuff. Yeah. I will try to link at least the website below if they still have the stuff that I have gotten. I will link that below um, as well. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Mwah!